And we have Tom on Slow Cole, who's won seven races in the British Touring Car Championship in his career, with already six podiums this year. We've got some questions that come through Twitter um, from Peter Kane. What is your ultimate career aim? Uh, for me, I'd really like to go over and do the Australian V8s. It's, uh, it's a fantastic touring car series, and you know they're really setting the the, the bar for, for everyone else. You know, real uh, fast cars, lots of power, and uh, some good action in there as well. Um, through Facebook, Gemma Chapman asked, "Would you ever consider going to the World Touring Car Championship?" Uh, if, the, if the offer was right, then uh, yeah, I'd definitely consider it. But at the moment, you know, I'm really sold on the British touring cars. The show uh, really is one of the best out there, and I think the racing is uh, a lot harder than uh, than it is out in the uh, WTCCC. But um, you know, I wouldn't turn down an offer if it came back at my door. Um, from Dan Cornell, how do you find racing such a competitive championship as the touring cars? Uh, I really enjoy racing in such a competitive championship. It's a um, it's a factor that really drives you on to be better. Uh, anyone in the top ten can win races, and, and that makes it really, really tough. Another question from Dan. He asked, "What's it like the difference between the front wheel drive car to a rear wheel drive car?" Um, that's something I've been very familiar with uh, with this year, and to be honest, I couldn't really list the, the, the fine art details of, of what's different. But for me, I'm uh, I've been mainly front wheel drive, and uh, and that's what I knew best. Going to rear wheel drive in the uh, EV BMW was was a difficult challenge, but one I've really enjoyed, and I think I've actually been turned around. I, you know, I'm starting to believe that real race cars are rear wheel drive. Another question, Dan. He said. Do you think that your team needs to go to an NGTC car um, for next year? Uh, I think the uh, swap over to an NGTC for, um, for eBay Motors is inevitable. It, it really does need to happen. Uh, the team are working very, very hard to make it happen, but it, it's not that easy. You know, there's a case of financing it and, uh, and actually getting it built as well. So it's, it's not a definite done deal, but uh, we all want to do it and we all want it to happen. Um, who's your idol in motorsport? Really, really tricky one. Um, I guess it's changed a little bit over the years. You know, I used to idolise the touring car drivers uh, when I used to go and watch at eight years old, but some of those old buggers are still racing, so I had to drop that quite quickly. Um, for me, you know, Rossi has done a fantastic job on, on the bike over the years, and to see him challenge himself, move into, uh, you know, more difficult bikes to ride and so on has been uh, pretty inspirational to see. Um, what about, could you have got a turbo car for the first time this year? What's the, what's the difference between the turbo car? Uh, I was one of the first to go over to the turbo car. In, in 2010 we ran a, a gas powered Focus which ran a turbo and the driving styles are slightly different. You have to, um, to accept there's going to be a little bit of a kick of power when the turbo kicks in, um, but you have to monitor that. I think you know, the engineers have got to work hard to make sure the tyre life is still as good as it is with the uh, lesser powered non-turbo engine that they used to use. This weekend you'll be racing in the 750 Mo Club BMW compact car. What's it like to drive one of these cars? Really, really good fun. I've had a great weekend here uh, in, the, in the compact cup. And I think this is a series that uh, can appeal to, to all uh, walks of drivers, really. The guys at the front are really pushing on hard. They're getting every single tenth out of the car that they can. Um, but then also there's some entry level guys as well that are just starting out in motorsport. And this is their first experience of it. So it's a, it's a really diverse grid and it seems that there's racing throughout it. So, you know, it's a highly recommended championship from my point of view. And what's the difference between running in a, a like, small paddock like this, the empty motor club, compared to the Toka package? Uh, this is a lot more relaxed, you know. In the, in the Toka package, it's very, very busy. We've got a lot of PR and sponsors to look after throughout the day. And also meeting the fans. We get a lot of people turning up to the uh, to the venues. And they have access to everywhere as well. So it's, it's a real big hustle and bustle event. But I've really enjoyed this weekend. It's been a little more relaxed. I've been able to sit back, have a cheeky bacon sandwich and go out and do some proper racing. It's, uh, it's been good fun. Hey, thank you very much. Cool, no worries.